Real Estate Talk on Smart Talk 1580. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Real Estate Talk. I'm your host, Dave Pouch of Remax Integrity. We are live this beautiful Saturday morning broadcasting from the Albany studios of KGAL K Show Radio at the old library building, the home of Silver Falls Dermatology. Are you hungry? It is almost lunchtime. If you're hungry and you want to taste on us, that's a $10 Quiznos gift certificate for the first person this hour to email dave at kgal.com and mention taste on us. That Quiznos certificate, or that gift certificate, good at the Albany Quiznos store. Okay, I'm going to start the show today with an apology of sorts. I spent last week at the REMAX convention in Las Vegas. We were at the MGM Grand Hotel. Uh, I got home last night. I thought I was coming home uh, Thursday night, but I misread my itinerary, and I actually got home about 10.15 last night. And I was driving back from the airport. I flew in and out of Portland. Uh, by the way, big kudos to JetBlue. Uh, flew JetBlue there and back. First time I'd flown that airline, and... I had leg room, totally impressed. So anyway, uh, as I was driving back from the airport, it hit me. Yeah, I uh, didn't have anything scheduled or pre-planned for today's show. And I'm, I'm usually a little bit better prepared than that. And I don't want you to think I forgot about you, but I kind of did. So I thought I'd like to give you an overview of the Remax convention and also catch up on uh, a listener question. I hope that's okay. Uh, I, I'm going to be kind of, you know, rah rah remax today, uh, and that's just the overflow of of all of the good feelings and inspiration and positive, uh, positive things that came out of my last week in Las Vegas at that convention. So again, I hope that's okay. But before we do that, let's jump in and do the real estate showcase. Three homes in the showcase today. The first is located at 1240 Gale Street Southwest in Albany. One hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred. Five bedrooms, two and a half bath, over 2,200 square feet on a 0.17 acre lot. And again, the price is $199,900. 1240 Gale Street Southwest in Albany. This is a very large, nicely laid out, single story home. The additional square feet does square footage does come from a garage conversion. The home originally had a two-car garage, but the previous, previous owners, not my sellers, but the owners before them at least, converted one of those garage bays into an additional bedroom. And very nicely done, and it works out really well because this gives you a bedroom for maybe an independent family member who likes to come and go on their own, who likes to have their own access uh, and and I think it's a, it's a great way of working things out, but it's a five-bedroom home, uh, two-and-a-half bath, single-story, big open family room with a, with a pellet stove uh, in it, uh, open dining area. Really nice updates have been done to this home over the last couple of years. It's got a new roof in 2010, new vinyl windows. Uh, part of the gutters were actually just replaced last year. Uh, hard, there's some hardwood flooring in there. There's some very nice uh, engineered hardwood laminate-type flooring in there. The bathrooms were updated. Nice tile shower. Great home, great opportunity, lots of storage for what I think is truly an incredible price. And that's 1240 Gale Street Southwest in Albany, MLS 66403. My second home is also an Albany home. It's located at 1239 Elm Street Southwest in Albany. This is a cute, cute, cute little two-bedroom bungalow. Perfect for the first-time home buyer. Also would be great for somebody who's looking to take advantage of today's interest rates to get into investment property. It's in an excellent neighborhood. It's close to great schools. Again, a new roof in 2010. It also has updated vinyl windows. It's got a big yard with alley access. Uh, two bedrooms, one bath, 960 square feet. Priced at ninety nine thousand nine hundred dollars. That's twelve thirty nine Elm Street Southwest in Albany. MLS six five three four zero three. And my final showcase listing today is located in Lebanon at 495 West Ash Street. Very nice, established neighborhood. And frankly, this is probably the nicest house in a, a two-block radius. It was built in two thousand seven. Single-story home, fourteen hundred and ten square feet. Three bedrooms, 
two bathrooms, a very, very nicely fenced .16 acre home site. Uh, and the home is immaculate. It is updated. It is upgraded. The home is a gem in all respects. Truly, as I said, probably the nicest home in the neighborhood. Uh, all the updates were done since 2010. It includes things like tile marble counters in the kitchen and in the bathrooms. Uh, oak cabinetry. Exceptional energy efficiency. It's got low-flow toilets and showers. It has a fairly new heat pump installed. It's got vinyl windows. It's got high-quality carpet. There's a 30-year roof that was put on in 2010. Real wood blinds, oiled bronze fixtures, stainless steel appliances. Uh, it includes the refrigerator, the dishwasher, the range, and the microwave. And it's a great floor plan. Nice house, nice neighborhood, priced in a, in a, in a market in Lebanon with not a lot of inventory, folks. This is a wonderful home. List price, $164,900. 495 West Ash Street in Lebanon, MLS 660326. And that's the Real Estate Showcase for this second day of March 2013. If you'd like any information on any of our participating homes, you can always contact me right here at Real Estate Talk at kgal.com or via, via the Facebook fan page, which is simply facebook.com backslash Real Estate Talk on KGAL. If you are a KGAL listener, I would love for you to just to do me a personal favor, and that is to go to that Facebook page and like us. Uh, your liking that page gives us more visibility, gives me a better opportunity to get what I hope is good information out to a broader audience. We are here. I am here every Saturday morning couple of Thursdays a month, talking about real estate on the local level, giving you market statistics, and I want to share. I want to help people make good decisions in real estate. That's why I started this show. Uh, if you are not currently working with a real estate professional and you would like a market analysis done on a property, that's any property here in the area, whether you're looking to buy that property or sell that property, just email me the address. Uh, real estate talk at kgal.com. Send me the address. I'll provide you a market analysis at absolutely no obligation. Obviously, here's my pitch, folks. I would like to be on your team. Uh, I am a part-time radio professional. Actually, a radio amateur. I don't get paid for this. I am a full-time real estate professional. That's what I do for a living. Uh, and I'd like to be on your team. I am committed, and I make the, the promise to my clients. I only work with one client in any real estate transaction. So give me a call or send me an email today. Finally, if you're considering starting the home buying process, contact Willamette Neighborhood Housing Services at www.w-nhs.org and take their class. I teach at Willamette Neighborhood Housing Services a couple of times a year. Uh, I have found it to be, for the clients that I've worked with that have been through that class, incredibly helpful in getting buyers prepared for the buying process. Uh, I believe one of the statistics that uh, Willamette Neighborhood Housing Services quotes is that their participants, people who go through their class, have historically been 70% less likely to go through foreclosure. And that's because they're better prepared and they're making better decisions up front. So here's my offer to you. If you would like to take that class, if you are a listener of this show, uh, you want to take the, the Willamette Neighborhood Housing Home Buyer class, as long as you are not currently working with another real estate professional, email me, let me know the date, and I'll pay the tuition for that class for you. I do believe it is just that powerful a tool. Okay, we're going to take our first break. And when we come back, I would like to share with you some of the uh, inspirational experiences, some of the positive energy, and some of the tools that I picked up at the REMAX convention in Las Vegas last week. I'm Dave Pounce of REMAX Integrity. This is Real Estate Talk on KGAL. You have to get to the Portland airport. You have a couple of options. You could drive to the airport, fill up the tank, fight the hordes of bad drivers while cramped up in front of the steering wheel for hours, wishing that you'd sent that last email, struggling into the parking lot for the opportunity to pay an arm and a leg, or take the Hut Airport Shuttle and travel in style. Stretch out and rest. Use the free wireless internet or just enjoy the trip to the airport. With five pickup points and a shuttle every two hours. Park free in Corvallis at the Hilton Garden Inn in Albany at the Phoenix and Suites. Next time, take the shuttle. Hot Airport Shuttle. Reservations required. Call toll-free 888-257-0126 or on the web at hutshuttle.com. 888-257-0126 or hutshuttle.com. 
Radio is about immediacy, the right now in your life. Hi, I'm Dave Adams, account executive and Valley Talk host for KGAL and K-Show Radio. KGAL and K-Show have a long-standing tradition of community involvement, events happening right now. So if you want the message about your business or service to get out to people right now, let's talk. They're driving in their cars. They can't read the newspaper or watch TV, but they can listen to radio. Radio is right now. Call me at 541-981-2469, and let's work together. Sully Stay and Play Doggy Daycare in the North Albany Village really does care about your loving member of the family. Here's Tony Sullivan, local owner and operator. A happy dog at Sully's is a happy dog at home. Sully Stay and Play specializes in home-baked doggy treats. Nowhere else in the valley is there a gourmet dog bakery. Sully's offers unique pet supplies. We have the toughest, high-quality leashes, collars, harnesses, and dog toys. Obedience and training classes. We also have a certified dog trainer on staff who will train your dog by appointment. Sully's Stay and Play provides exceptional daycare service. And you can watch what's going on. At Sully's, we have webcams in the play areas. So if you're at work, home, or like one of our customers who was in New York City, you can be there to check on your dog when you're not really there. And it's safe. Sully's is a safe environment with trained and caring staff looking out for your best friend. All dogs have to pass a behavior screening test. Sully's Stay and Play Doggy Daycare in the North Albany Village, one block north of Highway 20 on North Albany Road. A happy dog at Sully's is a happy dog at home. Enjoy exciting equine entertainment and support the Albany Helping Hands Homeless Shelter. Friday, March 22nd, bring a non-perishable food item to the gate at the Northwest Horse Fair and get $1 off your ticket price. Food donations go to Albany Helping Hands. Celebrate the spirit of the horse at the Northwest Horse Fair and help a great cause, too. Bring your food donations for Albany Helping Hands to the Northwest Horse Fair Friday, March 22nd. Discount on gate admission only. For more information, go to equinepromotions.net. Clarity over agreement. Expect it from Dennis Prager, weekday mornings at 9 on Smart Talk 1580. This is Smart Talk 1580, and I'm Dave Pouch. Welcome back to Real Estate Talk. Real Estate Talk is your only resource on local radio for real estate information right here in the mid Willamette Valley. We're always here on Saturdays. I get to spend a couple of Thursdays a month in the Valley Talk time slot, but you know, if you've missed a show, or if you're looking for information about real estate market trends, we've got that too. You can go to the website, www.kgal.com, and click on the link for Real Estate Talk. There's past shows there. There's lots and lots and lots of statistics there for you. Uh, and you can also go to the Real Estate Talk fan page on Facebook. As I said at the outset of the show, I spent last week in Las Vegas at the REMAX convention. Uh, this is an annual event, and for the past three years that I've attended, uh, it's been in Las Vegas. Now, our gathering last year was eh, 3,000 agents or so from around this world. Well, this year, which is coincidentally or by design, I suppose, the 40th anniversary of Remax as a company. Uh, and it, it's been a driving and changing force in real estate. This year's convention was attended by over 7,000 agents from 34 countries. And I think for me, the purpose of attending convention is threefold. Uh, first and foremost, there's so much education available to us about building and developing our businesses, becoming better agents, better serving our clients, and better serving our families. Uh, secondly, it's an incredible networking opportunity. I probably handed out 200 business cards in, in different sessions, uh, over lunches, in, in elevators, in taxis, as I met and got to know agents from all across the world and all across the country as well. And that has a very positive effect, I think, for my clients and for the people that I work with here in the, in the Mid-Valley. For example, I met a husband and wife team from Palm Springs. Both, re, both REMAX agents had been with uh, in business for quite a few years, and they were telling me about what's going on in their market. As a matter of fact, there's, I will tell you, there's a couple of agents that I've talked to about bringing them in as call-in guests on the show to give you all updates about their market. Because I know here in the Mid-Valley, there's a lot of folks who like to go to the warm weather. I know a number of people who have... Um, second homes or or other properties some of them are are timeshares or rental properties in some of these areas so they were telling me about what's going on in their market and we were talking about the vacation home market there and what was going on with prices and again, from my perspective, I know locally there are a lot of people here that may be interested in that information. Uh, 
Now, if I'm working with someone and we're talking about selling their home and they're looking to move out of the area, I have developed some additional resources that I can use, people that I have actually met and gotten to know as opposed to running a finger down a, a phone book or finding a web page. These are people that I've met and looked in the eyes who I have some sense of who they are as agents, who they are as people, and I know that they'll take care of my clients the way that I would want them to be taken care of. Again, I made some great contacts in Vancouver, British Columbia, Palm Springs, California, Florida, uh, Arizona, Texas, Washington State, Maryland, Virginia, just to name a few. And it was a lot of fun to visit with these people. There's so much energy, so much passion for the business, so much experience. Uh, truly, it was an inspiring and very, very positive experience from, from that point of view. And thirdly, the third thing that I came away with from attending convention each and every of a year of the last three years that I've gone is there's always been at least one of the number of, of speakers that we've had that was just absolutely inspirational to the point in, in some ways of being life-changing. And the whole process of renewal, recharging, and, and re-energizing uh, my batteries for this business. And I love being in real estate. Uh, it, is, it is really, I think, some days what I was born to do. It took me a long road to get here, but I just so enjoy going to work every single day and working with my clients and helping them get what they want. But you know what? There's a high burnout rate and everybody needs a little time away. So you go to convention and you come back from that and you have this amazing energy that you can draw on. And even more important to me, some of the highlights and featured speakers. And I want to take just a few minutes of, of today's show to tell you about some of these highlights because for me, some of them were actually profoundly inspiring. Our, our opening night ceremony, uh, it was kicked off with Dave Linegar. And Dave Linegar is, uh, and his wife Gail started Remax in 1973. They had this crazy idea about uh, how real estate commissions worked back in the 70s. And they had a completely different, what turned out to be revolutionary idea. Uh, and they wanted to build their business. And they had some real struggles in the start. They were near bankruptcy in a couple of, uh, of points. But through their persistence and their perseverance and the strength of will, and frankly, a little help from some real estate professionals who took the brand to Canada at just the right time, giving them the cash they needed to stay in business, they turned it into what is the number one real estate brand in the world, the largest share of voice on, on, uh, in, in marketing. Now, virtually every real estate company boasts their number one in one way or another. And obviously, as a REMAX agent, I'm biased, and I'm going to jump on that claim for our company. And I think I'm going to leave that train of thought for right now. We can always argue that and, and, and bring in statistics to prove our point, but not the reason why I'm here today. The point was... Last year, Mr. Linegar was unable to attend the convention. It was the first time in, I think, 38 years. They didn't have a convention the first couple of years. It was the first time in 38 years that he was not able to do so because he was sick. Uh, we were told at convention last year that he had some sort of an infection in his back. And it was eh, kind of downplayed. So, oh, well, he's sick. He's just not mobile. Okay, well, I get that. Well, this year, uh, Mr. Linegar came out on the stage for the opening of the convention in a wheelchair. And he spent about 45 minutes telling us the story of his last year. In fact, Dave had been very close to death and had defied the odds in every respect. Without going into the details of his illness, I will say that his story was one of a man who everybody said should be dead. The doctors could not believe he is not dead. Uh, further, he, he, defying the odds, he was at one point quadriplegic. He was paralyzed. And as he sat there in the wheelchair tell us, telling us about his experience, we all knew one thing. Dave had just written a book called My Next Step. I'm sitting there listening to him thinking, oh, well, he's probably going to announce his retirement. But he didn't. As he sat there in the wheelchair telling us about this experience, about the amazing support of his family and his friends and his determination uh, to, and help, they, they helped him to keep fighting. And he decided he was going to walk 10 steps, that he was going to walk out of that hospital. And if he could take 10 steps, he could take 100. And if he could take 100 steps, he could take 1,000. And for the entire presentation, he sat in this wheelchair telling us this story. And there were video clips and there were uh, you know, other people that had, were, were kind of in the scene talking about it. And at the end, 
At the end, he rose from his chair and he walked to the front of the stage and talk about an overwhelming response and just a standing ovation from 7,000 people. He walked off the stage on his own power. He had detailed his year-long struggle and the mental toughness that drove him to inspire others. And he talked about his book. And all the author profits from that book, which again is called My Next Step, are going to be donated to the Children's Miracle Network, which is a, a network of hospitals that Remax has been involved in since very early on. Dorn Beckers is actually a member of that Children's Miracle Network, uh, as well as the Wounded Warrior Project. It was an amazing way to kick off an amazing week. And that was the first night. Uh, on Tuesday we had another absolutely amazing experience. Former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice uh, was our featured speaker. An amazing woman. She told us about her grandfather and how he, through determination and struggle, got himself an education at a Presbyterian college. And that set the stage for her parents and for her and her brothers and sisters to get educations themselves. And she talked about how the power of education for her was transformative. And, and I won't take up the time here to repeat her presentation, but just to say how inspiring, how amazing and impressive a person who has accomplished so much in her life, yet she still speaks with this quiet humility and humanity. And, and I think she's absolutely awe-inspiring. And of course, during our question and answer period, somebody asked if she was considering running for office, and she very politely said, no way. Now, she was followed by an, an author, another speaker who I'd never heard of, and his name is Andy Andrews. He's written a number of books, and one of the, the first books that he became known for, I don't know if it was the first one he wrote, it was called The Time Traveler's Gift, The Seven Decisions for Personal Success. Now, this guy, absolutely humorous, very, very funny, a very ADHD. His entire persona on stage as he's talking is just, he's just going on and on, uh, different subjects and kind of scattered. But it all comes around. It all comes around. And I, I bought his first book. I was so impressed with his presentation. I was engrossed in it on the plane flight home last night. And frankly, I will say it was amazing. It talks about the decisions that you need to make every single day, a series of seven decisions that you need to make every single day that will transform your life and how every decision you make, everything that you do has an effect. And, and it was just very powerful. Uh, it was amazing. Now, we had a number of other speakers. We had uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, who was Wine.com, Brian Buffini, who was a known international real estate coach and trainer, talked about helping us to develop our business. Remax chairman uh, Margaret Kelly kind of walked us through the decades of Remax, things that were taking place. All in all, just an awesome experience, and I'm sitting here with so much pride in my company, uh, so much pride in the choice that I made, and so much optimism for 2013 that I really appreciate you letting me take the time today to share a little bit of that with you. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit in the next segment about some of the things I learned uh, that I gained from the experience that I would like to share with you. So I'm Dave Pouch of Remax Integrity. This is Real Estate Talk on KGAL. Lynn Lane's in Lebanon, home of the best burger in town. The place to bowl is Lynn Lane's Bowling Center on South Main Road in Lebanon. And the people are real nice. And the head pin restaurant, I'd go there even if the bowling alley wasn't attached. Stop by Lynn Lane's in Lebanon. Good family fun. Bowling. Lynn Lane's on South Main in Lebanon. Open every day and until 1 a.m. on Friday and Saturday nights. Ballistic bowling starts at 10 on Saturday night. Online at lynnlanes.com. It's affordable and it's fun. Go bowling at Lynn Lane's in Lebanon. Lebanon tonight. You see the ads on TV and in the newspaper all the time. Fly-by-night operations offering to buy your unwanted jewelry, scrap jewelry, and collectible coins. Just mail it in some special envelope or meet a traveling buyer in a motel room. There's no reason to deal with these kinds of businesses when there's a reliable, reputable jewelry buyer right here in the Valley. Mid-Valley Gems and Jewelry. Bring your unwanted jewelry, including scraps and coins, to Mid-Valley Gems and Jewelry. Unlike the traveling motel room buyer, who weigh it by the pound, Mid-Valley Gems and Jewelry takes the time to individually assess each piece, which is to your advantage. One recent customer was offered just over $300 by the traveling buyers, so she took her stuff to Mid-Valley and received $1,100. Whether you're looking to buy or if you have jewelry, scrap, or coins that you'd like to sell, there's only one place to go. 
Mid Valley Gems and Jewelry on Pacific in Albany, just down from Wendy's. Homeowners, business owners, take note of this name and number. Gonzalez Yard Care has a growing list of very satisfied customers because Ignacio Gonzalez and his crew are different from other landscape maintenance operations. No mow, blow and go. How about weeding by hand? Work by the job, the season or year round? Handyman work as needed? Senior discounts? With Gonzalez Yard Care, you get what the big guys offer and a lot more. Call today for a free estimate. Gonzalez Yard Care at 541-926-1412. 926 1412. Another great event is happening at the Mennonite Village, and all of you are invited. The fifth annual Mennonite Dinner and Celebration at the Lakeside Center is taking place Friday, March 8th. For just $12 per person, you can see the wonderful quilt and woodwork display, take in the Mennonite singers, and enjoy a bountiful dinner. Please RSVP to Becky by calling her at 541-704-4260 by Monday the 4th. Don't miss the fun at the Mennonite, March 8th. I hear there's going to be fresh-baked breads and pies for sale. What has great food, games for the kids, and a San Marco electric fireplace? It's the 28th Annual Benefit Auction for East Lynn Christian Academy, sponsored by South Fork Industrial on March 16th. Take the whole family. Then make your bids on a three-day coyote and rabbit hunt, crushed rock, and did we say Remington 870 shotgun with walnut stock? March 16th begins with a breakfast at 7, followed by a silent auction at 8, and the big one gets underway at 10. This year's auction is at the Victory Campus just off South 5th in Lebanon. For more details, call 541-259-2324. Want to really know more? Just point, click, and learn from the Mid-Valley's best website, KGAL.com. Welcome back to Real Estate Talk. I'm Dave Pouch of REMAX Integrity. I started the show today talking about my experiences last week at the REMAX convention in Las Vegas, Nevada. And for me, it was really an amazing experience and probably the best of the three conventions that I've attended since I started with REMAX uh, four years ago. One of the benefits that we also get is sometimes the first look at some of the new tools being provided and sometimes maybe more in-depth training in those tools that already exist. So last year, we were treated to the launch of the new Remax app for the iPhone and the iPad, and we were given a preview of the new Remax.com, which was coming, and it actually launched, uh, I think, in December. Uh, later on, a completely redesigned website. And it's actually, we, we got a little bit of some additional training on it. And if you're looking for a real estate search engine, this one's really cool. Here's a couple of things that, that I think make it pretty cool. The first of all, it's a very clean page. Uh, when, you, when you first go to remax.com, uh, it's very clean. It's all focused on you finding property, you searching for a home. The nice thing is you can search all the listings, residential listings, commercial listings, luxury listings. You can log in with your Facebook credentials. You can create an account and you can save listings. Uh, Again, a lot of opportunity. You can go at the top bar, there's a home values. So you could go to uh, the home values page and you could put in your address and it will in a very similar fashion to some of the other uh, sites out there give you a a rough estimate of what your house may sell for again the accuracy of that is is really the start of the conversation you should be having with a realtor it does not necessarily take into account this home has granite countertops and this one doesn't and this home is a distress sale and this one isn't it doesn't no website is going to give you that automated level of, of value with any real fidelity to it, Remax or, or any of the others. But it's a great start to the conversation to look at your neighborhood. It gives you the values of all of the homes in your neighborhood. So it's a great tool to start the conversation with a realtor. It can help you find a real estate professional, get advice, uh, a, a great website. And this year they are focusing a little bit more on global.remax.com. If you are inclined, I would suggest that you check that out. Uh, It is an amazing tool that is available to search listings in any country around the world and in virtually every language. Now, it may not cover every dialect, but certainly every major language. And if you go to check it out, it's global.remax.com. You get access to all the listings worldwide. You can search for a vacation home in Canada. Maybe you're relocating to Canada or Brazil or France. You now have this as a resource. And I know many of you are thinking, Dave, why do I care? I'm not moving to Canada or Brazil or France. And that's true. You might not care. It may never be useful to you. 
But think a moment about the immigrant population in our country. Uh, even here in the Mid Valley, think of the the growing Spanish speaking population. Non English speakers can go to global.remax.com and search for listings right here in Albany and Corvallis and Lebanon. They can select their language option, and all the listings are automatically all the search data is automatically translated for them, and they can actually then click a button and translate the remarks everything into whatever language they choose. I think there's 38, 40 languages available on that. So it's a really cool tool. Again, that's Remax.com for just kind of your everyday searches. And it's personalizable. It's actually segregated. Not se That's not the right word. Where you log in from. It uses cookies on your computer. So where you log in from, if you're sitting in Las Vegas and you log in to Remax.com, the graphic behind is kind of geared towards that area. It's got little cactus stuffies. And, and if you log in in Portland, for example, you may get the mountains and, and kind of a city graphic in the background. It's really kind of neat. So a great tool to use. And, and again, a big launch this year as the site was completely redesigned. Uh, I want to share one other highlight of our trip while I'm thinking of it. And it has absolutely nothing to do with real estate. But uh, on Tuesday night, our owner, uh, Kevin Simran, took us all to Tony and Tina's wedding. Uh, it's a show. It's a play, technically, at Bally's. But it is like nothing that I have ever been to before. You are actually guests at the wedding. The setting is a wedding venue. It's a big banquet room set with tables and there's a dance floor and there's a, a DJ and a singer and uh, there's a little uh, portico where the priest is, is going to stand and do the wedding vows and uh, you're seated on either the bride side or the groom side and on one side the nunzios on the other side the Vitalis and our table was on the Vitali side the bride side and Mama Vitali sat at our table along with her son and, and groomsman Joey Vitali who's quite a character. Uh, the maid of honor is pregnant and there's some sort of a love triangle with a former boyfriend of the bride. Apparently Mama Vitali and the groom's dad dated in high school and the father of the groom, his date for the uh, wedding uh, is supposed to be, at least according to Mama Vitali, a stripper and the whole time we were part of the play. We were interacting with the characters. They were talking to us as if we were family members and friends and all the storylines were advanced through all this interaction. So you're right in the middle of it. There was dancing, people were doing the limbo, and yes, I did the chicken dance, just like virtually every other wedding I've ever been to before. Very good buffet dinner. Uh, it was Italian, uh, great antipasto salad, some chicken parmesan, some kind of a lasagna thing, and good dessert, that cannolis. I highly recommend, if you ever have the chance to go, and it's nationwide, it's in a number of different big cities, Tony and Tina's wedding, it was absolutely just a hoot. I, I highly recommend it. Uh, on another social note, uh, it's Vegas. Now, I'm not much of a gambler, but I did think I did manage to donate about $20 to the casino. Uh, I consider it more entertainment for me. I have no expectation of being a big winner. Uh, but it was fun to play a little on the slot machines. So all in all, uh, really a great time was had in Las Vegas. I learned a lot. I was inspired by some of our speakers. Uh, had a great chance to recharge and refresh. And now it's time to get back and put some of these tools to work. And a lot of the tools that we were given were really tools about how to build our business, how to build our relationships with our clients, how to better serve them at the end of the day. So it was one time in real estate we were kind of focused on us. So uh, again, I wanted to take that time to talk about the Remax.com and the global Remax.com. And now it's time. I think we'll take the shift now. We'll get away from Las Vegas and the convention and we will jump into listener questions. And my first listener question comes from A in Albany. Can a seller back out of a transaction to sell their house? This is a really interesting question. And the answer is no, or at least probably not. And, and let me start my response here with a disclaimer. We're talking about contract law. You are talking about breaking a contract. I am not 
a lawyer. I cannot give legal advice. What I can do as a real estate professional is give you kind of that high overview. The right answer here, A, contact a lawyer for your specific situation. That being said, let me give you kind of a brief overview. Uh, the earnest money agreement that was signed by both the buyers and the sellers, they wrote you an offer, whatever counter offers took place, took place. And at the end of the day, you signed the paperwork and the buyer signed the paperwork that generates a meeting of the mind and a binding contract. Okay, that earnest money agreement is, in every respect, a contract. There are provisions in that contract that generally give the buyer doors that they can walk out. Contingencies that allow them to terminate the contract as they do their due diligence. It is fair, absolutely fair, to give the buyer a chance to back out if the product that they are buying the house or the property is not what they thought it was when they made the offer. Okay, fair, due diligence. So inspections, review of title, well and septic inspections, uh, all of those things and whatever else is written into the contract, all are designed to provide those due diligence components that the buyer can use to terminate the transaction if they are not satisfied with the product they are buying. There are, however, no such doors, no such contingencies built into a standard contract unless they are somehow written in. And I can think of maybe a couple times where a contingency that allows the seller to back out might be put into the contract. And generally, it's going to be something having to do with their next home. Okay, uh, They may write it contingent to them finding a home of choice, or if they found a home of choice contingent to them closing that transaction so that they can uh, have a place to live, and this one's going to close. So I can see where that might be in advance written into the contract. Something to talk with your, your listing agent about sellers is whether you need some sort of protection like that. Again, I have seen those types of things written into sale contracts, but by and large, <laughs> there is no... Well, I changed my mind clause in the contract that protects either the buyer or the seller. So the answer to the question is, eh, probably not. So what if you want to? Well, you really have two options. One is the emotional one. You can appeal directly to the buyers through your agent and say, I, I don't want to sell and here's why. And if you have a compelling reason and the buyer has the ability they may allow you to terminate. Now, keep in mind, it's going to depend on what they as the buyers have invested into the home purchase. I mean, inspections cost money, appraisals cost money. You may have to compensate them for that. The real estate professionals could also have a legal action against you for the commission that they feel they have earned. And if the buyers are not accommodating, they could take you to court and sue you for what's called specific performance. They could make you sell your home. They could take you to court, and if you're going to go to court to do that, you would incur legal fees on your part. And if you lose, which I would say the odds are fairly good, you're going to pay their legal fees as well. There is one option that you have, and I'm going to talk about that when we come back from the break. This is Real Estate Talk on KGO. You've taken every precaution against a home fire. But is your home protected by a First Alert security system from Security Alarm Corporation? In the case of a fire, your First Alert security system will contact emergency services at the same time you're rushing family to safety. For just pennies a day, a First Alert security system from Security Alarm Corporation can protect your home and family from a fire or burglary 24 hours a day. The easiest to use and most powerful security system you can buy is a First Alert security system. For a free First Alert security survey, call 800-736-4444. Or visit Security Alarm Corporation's website at www.sac.to for a no-obligation security survey. Call 1-800-736-4544. Now, Security Alarm Corporation, your locally owned and operated authorized First Alert Professional Security Systems dealer, serving the Willamette Valley since 1973. First Alert Security System, peace of mind since 1952. Indian food is my favorite. I would eat it every day of the week if I could. So much variety and tasty choices from vegetarian to chicken, lamb or seafood. Healthy and filling too. 
And the folks at the Evergreen are like part of my family. That was Mary, one of the regulars at Evergreen Indian Cuisine. Open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. Come in soon and see what all the excitement is about. Evergreen Indian Cuisine. On 3rd, across from Grace Wins Music in downtown Corvallis and in Eugene on Franklin Boulevard. I want to dive into the sea and ride around in submarine and see things that I've never seen. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go to sea. The Sea and Me, an interactive children's exhibit. Now open at the Oregon Coast Aquarium in Newport. Safe light repair, safe light replace. Julian with Safe Light Auto Glass. When you have auto glass damage, it makes a big difference who you choose to fix it. Only Safe Light, America's largest, gives you the reliability of always being there. With our 24 7 live call center, online scheduling, even a mobile app. And Safe Light emails a photo of the technician before we arrive so you know who to expect. Just ask your insurance company for Safe Light or call 800 800 2727 or go to safelight.com. At Advance Auto Parts, we believe the Internet's not just for sharing pictures of your food in sepia tone. At AdvanceAutoParts.com, it's for finding the right part and getting it delivered straight to your door fast. And when you spend $75 or more, that delivery is completely free. Great deals on parts from the comfort of your couch. Post that to your Twipper list, friend. Page. Service is our best part. Advance Auto Parts. Valley Talk, weekday mornings on News Talk 1580 KGAL. So before the break, I, well, welcome back to Real Estate Talk, by the way. Before the break, we were talking about, uh, as a seller, can you back out of the contract? And the answer is really probably not. Now, there may be a couple of opportunities where you might end up out of the contract to, to your benefit. And here are some of the options. And again, it's not really terminating the contract. And what I'm going to tell you is not a guarantee that the contract will terminate as a result. But depending on where you are at in your transaction, let's say, for example, the inspections were done and you're negotiating repairs. If you say, yeah, I'm not doing any of those repairs, the buyers then have the right or the option to terminate. It does not automatically terminate the transaction, but the buyers have that option. Depending on their financing situation or uh, their other situation, they may then decide to terminate the transaction. However, if they decide to move forward, even though you don't want to do the repairs, they have that option and you can't terminate and the deal does not automatically terminate at the end of that. The option is in the hand of the buyers. Similarly, in the other common gate where you could probably do this is if the appraisal does not come in at a sufficient value. You can refuse to modify the contract, and if that means that the buyers can't move forward, you might have your out. But again, if they can bring in additional funds, to, additional cash to close the deal, uh, and are willing to pay more than the appraised value, the buyer has the option to terminate or to stay in. The options are always going to be in the hands of the buyers and not you as a seller unless you have something written in there. It's a sticky situation. You are best advised to discuss it at length with your agent uh, and with an attorney. And I would also advise that if you want to take the tactic used on the Brady Bunch where the kids try to pretend that the house is haunted and they fly ghosts and everything around whenever the, the buyers are there, that's probably not the way to go. Just just saying, okay, for those of you who are old enough to remember the Brady Bunch. So again, sticky situation. My advice, again, I, I'm acting outside of my license if I try to give legal advice, so I will not do that. Consult with an attorney if you think this situation uh, is important to you. So there you go. Okay, folks, we are going to take our last break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about market statistics. And I am optimistic about where the market statistics are, by and large. And we'll talk about that when we come back. I'm Dave Pouch of REMAX Integrity. This is Real Estate Talk on KGAL.
Attention senior citizens, are you confused with all the information you've been getting about the new prescription drug benefits and health plans? Take all the confusion out of the whole situation by making one simple phone call to the Swanson Agency. The Swanson Agency has specialized in health plans for seniors for 20 years now, and as an independent agency, they represent nearly every plan that's available out there. By answering just a few questions about which prescription drugs you currently take and what your current health plan is, the folks at the Swanson Agency are able to explain which plan is best for you. They can get you enrolled and maybe even save you some money in the process. It's easy. Go ahead, make that phone call to the Swanson Agency, 757-7166. There's no obligation. That's the Swanson Agency. They're in Corvallis. 757-7166. It's easy. Go ahead. Make that phone call to the Swanson Agency. 757-7166. The Swanson Agency. 757-7166. Do your skin a favor and schedule your yearly skin exam with Silver Falls Dermatology in the old library building in Albany or Northwest Kings Boulevard in Corvallis. Dr. John and his team recommend a yearly skin exam because melanoma is on the rise nationally and Oregon has seen one of the biggest increases. For an appointment, call toll-free 866-599-DERM. That's 866-599-DERM. Or visit silverfallsderm.net. Hi, this is Michelle with Servco. We have a very good crew at Servco. My guys get along very well together. They're very good workers and they're proud of themselves. They do a good job. They represent themselves well in the community. I would trust them with my grandmother. When we hire guys, that's one of the qualities I look for in them. Is this somebody I could send to my grandmother's house or to my mother's house and feel comfortable that they're going to take care of her in the way that I would want her to be taken care of? Servco features licensed and bonded plumbers. Call 541-451-5090. Now open Saturdays. Going out to lunch at a nice restaurant can be expensive, and the big portions put you more in the mood for a nap than a productive afternoon. Mama's Fine Italian to the rescue. The small appetite senior menu is just right. Anyone and everyone is invited to order from the Light Appetites menu for lunch from 11 to 4 p.m. with tasty entrees beginning at only $3.95. Why go hungry or go anywhere else for lunch? Eat healthy, eat light at Mama's. Close Sunday and Monday, so make the most of Tuesday through Friday and join your friends at Mama's for lunch. Dinner only on Saturday. Mama's features charbroiled steaks every day. Make reservations for dinner or pick up a bottle of fine wine. Seating is limited, so please call for reservations. 541-451-5050. That's 451-5050. Mama's Fine Italian and Wine Shop. On West Oak, between Main and 2nd in Lebanon. Across from the Big Blue Napa Auto Parts Building. Hear the truth and only the truth from your cultural crusader, Michael Medved, on News Talk 1580 KGAL. Welcome back to Real Estate Talk. I'm Dave Pouch of REMAX Integrity. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to finish up the show today with the market update. And we'll start the update in Corvallis, where inventory is down three. That is a common phrase you are going to hear. Uh, inventory is down in all of our markets today. So it's down three from last week. 108 active listings. The average asking price of $360,106. With 90 homes sold in the last 90 days, that's up two. Currently 3.6 months of inventory is available. The median sold price in Corvallis over the last three months is flat, $246,362, averaging $159.18 per square foot. And on average, homes are spending 116 days on the market from listing to close in Corvallis. In Lebanon, 66 homes are available for sale. That's down three. Again, inventory down. The median asking price, however, is up today at 164700 In the past 90 days, 39 homes have sold. That's even with last week. The median sell price, however, is up slightly today at $126,000. At $95.22 per square foot, homes are spending an average of 166 days on the market, and there is 5.08 months of inventory available. Finally, to Albany, where inventory is down 7 from last week. 178 active residential listings. The average asking price in Albany is also down at $204,584. 111 homes sold in the past 90 days. That's actually down 17 from the last update. There is some good news on this, though, if you look at the contingent and pending sales, which are both up. Uh, so it's a cycle. 
Remember that. The median sale price is up today at $161,486, and homes are spending an average of 142 days on the market from listing to close of sale. The average dollar per square foot value in Albany is down at $102.49, and there is 4.81 months of inventory available. So, a little bit of side discussion here. Talking to agents from around the country this last week, inventory is down nationally. Uh, it is down across the board. And there's some discussion on why that is and what's going to happen. And it's going to be interesting because there's a couple of components that you need to consider. First is inventory is down because there has not been a lot of new inventory created. Builders have not been building over the last five years. Financing, una unable to build spec homes. Here locally, there are a couple of builders that are building spec homes and putting them out there, but not enough to keep up with the inventory. Secondly, a lot of sellers aren't selling, and they're not selling because in some cases, maybe they're still upside down, uh, or they're going to wait for the market to recover, or they know there's nothing for them to buy. If, you have a, if you're considering selling and you want to stay in the same market, and you know there's nothing for you to buy, they're making the decision not to sell. Uh, we are still dealing with some shadow inventory with regard to foreclosures. There's a lot of homes that, with the changes in Oregon's uh, foreclosure process, going to a judicial process, there are some homes that are sitting there waiting to come on the market, but we haven't seen them yet. Uh, the banks may be tending to do more short sales as a result of that, and how that's going to affect the inventory remains to be seen. So. There's a lot of factors kind of outside of supply and demand, which also serves to offset some of the reasons why prices are not going up dramatically at all. They are creeping up. Buyer activity appears to be steady. Again, right now in the Albany market, in addition to the sold listings, 111 sold in the last 90 days, there are currently 98 homes, almost double, Okay, almost the same number, just short, that are either pending or contingent sales. 68 total contingent sales, 30 pending. In Lebanon, 39 homes sold in the last 90 days. There are 31 homes that are in the pipeline, pending uh, or contingent sales. 90 homes sold in Corvallis. There are 53 in the, the contingent or pending category. So sales are still moving. Prices are stable inching up. We're seeing some movement up in the median sale prices slightly. We're seeing some movement up as a rule in the dollar per square foot values, especially in Lebanon, as a matter of fact. We were hovering in the mid-80s. $80 a square foot. Today, it's $95.22. Corvallis had been around $154, $153. Now it's at $159.18. Albany, uh, I think we just had a little dip. We're hovering right for the most part, right around 105. Last week, I, I think it was uh, 103. Right now, it's 102.49. So, a little bit of depression there. And I think that's just really a function of the lots of buyers, lots of demand, but they are unable to find the homes that they want. So, if you have a home that is not currently on the market and you're thinking of selling, talk with a real estate professional. It is potentially a very good time to be a seller as long as you have the capability to list your home in the correct price category, both for your home, for it to be uh, sellable, as well as for the market. If you have a $400,000 home in Lebanon, it's not necessarily any better a time to sell now than it was six months ago or a year ago. Okay. That's the market update for this second day of March 2013. We're into March. This year is just flying by. Uh, real quick reminder, if you're interested in starting the home buying process, well, I'm at Neighborhood Housing Services, www.w-nhs.org. Take the class. And if you are a Real Estate Talk listener and you are not working with another agent, email me, let me know the dates you're going, and I'll pay the tuition for you. And you'll find us every Saturday morning here talking about real estate. I'm Dave Pouch of REMAX Integrity on 1580 KGAL, Lebanon, Albany and Corvallis. Around the clock, around the world, your first choice for information is News Talk 1580, KGAL, Lebanon, Albany, Corvallis.